Okay, so things don't always go as planned. Um, I uh, ended up um, pressing on one of the uh, synchro uh, assemblies and the balls and the springs popped out, so I've got to start again. Um, I also made another mistake. Um, I actually installed the lay shaft uh, before it, um, it, it, it should have been installed. So I actually need to press the bearings in for the, um, the input shaft first. Uh, and then install the lay shaft. There's just not enough room um, to get the input uh, shaft in. So two mistakes. Um, hey, things go uh, better the second time sometimes. So uh, you know that this is the way it goes sometimes. So um, I've, uh, I'm now reassembling the um, the main gear shaft just like as I did before. I won't uh, take you through that process again. Um, I will. Uh, show you the process of removing um, the lay shaft because I think I've got a better way of doing it now that I've got it all lined up and I don't have to struggle with uh, the uh, thrust washers again. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that and uh, press the the, uh, the bearing back in. So um, hang with me and uh, I'll show you the process. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to take um, the dummy shaft and reinstall it back into the, um, the lay gear. And then I'm going to move the lay gear backwards um, and then slide the gearbox um, over so that the, the dummy shaft is then captured by the, the base of the, um, of the shop press. Um, then I'll be able to move the lay gear backwards in the box put the um, uh, main gear train in and then press in the um, um, the input shaft. So let's uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, you can see the lay shaft moving up. Again, my, what I'm trying to do is make sure the roller bearings don't come out of the lay shaft and maintain the uh, the thrust washers in place as much as possible. Okay, lay shaft is out. I'm going to put that aside and then I'm just going to slide the gearbox over so the lay shaft, dummy, the dummy shaft is uh, captured in place. Alright. Next I'm going to push the uh, dummy shaft. Um, I've uh, dropped the lay gear back to the bottom of the um, gearbox. Um, the uh, idler, reverse idler gear is still in place, that doesn't need to be removed. Um, I'm going to, I've installed the thrust, the front thrust bearing um, in the, um, for the lay shaft and the lay gear in place. I'm going to drop the um, lay shaft in there to hold that um, that thrust washer in place so that it doesn't move around. It's impossible to get to once everything is uh, installed. So that's got to be in place. Otherwise we have to uh, pull the bearings again and I don't really want to do that. So um, and I don't think I don't think you'll want to, you'd want to do that either. So uh, getting that in place, lining that up, Okay, that's in place. Now I'm going to um, press the, uh, the bearing in. Okay, this would have been pretty much impossible to have um, um, filmed. Uh, I do have the bronze bushing in, sorry, the <laughs> thrust washer in. 
it's in the tab. Um, in order to get it lined up, what I ended up having to do was um, putting in a couple of um, hex head uh, wrenches to actually hold the uh, thrust washer in place. Um, there's there's three holes here. I, I put one on one on both of these sides and then use the the um, Allen wrenches or hex hex wrenches to uh, uh, maneuver it into place and basically by feel um, get that to work. Um, if you look at this side um, you can see that the dummy shaft is starting to be pushed out as well so um, combination of the dummy shaft and the, this um, um, the uh, lay shaft is keeping the bearings in place so there's that there's that side and make sure I'm hitting the dummy shaft coming out um, come back to this side I'm going to add some more assembly lube um, sorry for the there I'm gonna add some more assembly lube um, to this as it's being um, uh, inserted in Okay, so I've pushed the um, the shaft back in uh, so that I can fit the um, thrust washer in between the um, <clears throat> the brass side between the uh, the gear and the, the front of the gearbox. Sorry, the back of the gearbox. So I'm going to put this in here. After I get around the other side, where I get a better angle at it. Slide it up. Okay, it's in place. Now push the shaft back in. There it goes. Woohoo! Success!